two, one. Go, 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 go. But it almost sounds to me, in fact, it does sound to me like they're talking about removing either the 9 o'clock or the 11 o'clock race in favor of going with a time more friendly for the Europeans. And it's like, why do we need to get rid of one of the races? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> just just make a race that's convenient for Europeans. Just agree on a time. Big gulp. Big gulp. Get together, agree on a time, and that'll be that. And tweet it out. You know, make sure people know about it. And if anybody has objections or that, you know, wasn't around at the initial decision making, th that's what social media is for. Holy shit. Am I wrong to think that this is <laughs> like a really simple thing? I got steam. Oh shit, I, I missed wall jump. I got steam. I got more steam. Steam sail. 4038. Bleh. <laughs> Damn, fire bat. All the, all the bad luck. Oh, I moved too much. All three guys in the best of Ness uh, classic race right now. I think all of them have been on Double Dragon 2 for a little bit. Get up there. Get up there. Oh, uh, Rich is moving on to punch out. Nice. Dude, I think it's going to take an effort from Toad and Kananaphone. Rich is a really strong player, dude. I think they've said he's been top three or top five. I think he's been top three in just about every uh, Big 20 
NES races. Really strong gamer. Oh god. Ninja Gaiden is the game that's after Double Dragon 2. That's always a fun watch. I got the pixel. That's the pixel. You do that. Make him do that. Every time. Nothing but missiles. Give me nothing, yay. Thank you. <laughs> oh, the, the rainbow cat of good luck. It served me well right there because I got Alcatraz first try. <laughs> Get in there, dude. Come on. Dude, good luck, kitty. I had to look hard for that one. Yo, I got White Samus! <laughs> Almost want to change my offline image to that, but... I like the one I've got. Get in there. What's going on, JJ? How you doing tonight? Oop. Please tell me I jumped. Okay. Wow. Speaking of almost real bad, <laughs> that super missile placement was super sketchy. All is well with everybody tonight. A night for Super Metroid is always a good night, in my book. Health. I got health. Glad to say I've... I'm not going to say I discovered that, but I found that on my own without knowing that other people knew about it. That you could just kind of shoot through the top of that platform if you time it right. Oh, I turned around. The down back betrayed me. Okay. At least I didn't go in the pit of despair. Because that is literally a pit full of despair. And spikes. And water.
Oh, okay. Shit. <laughs> It's such an easier jump to make, but I my failure rate is so much higher than my success rate. Okay, I have to not hit mini crade. I have to remember this. If I hit mini crade, I'm a fucking idiot. Okay. <laughs> And it would have killed me. Again. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Thought I hit select twice. Oh, get some, you motherfucker. Get out of here. No supers, though. I may have missed them. Orange now. Move, lady. Get your ass into that ball and move. <laughs> I need to go back to trying that, trying for that mock ball. Jump, shoot the guy, shoot the door, shoot this door. Now we're going to see some punching. Oh, baby. <laughs> no. Really shouldn't have jumped there. I would have gotten hit anyways, but...
Good luck, kitty. Doesn't get too dizzy. But he needs to keep spinning. Make sure. Okay. <laughs> I think that was an OBS when I had GIFs that kept stopping. It was during my burnout stream that went for like 12 hours or whatever. The longest stream I've ever had. An unnecessary farm right there. Just get that one super back that I probably don't even need. Open the pit. I opened the pit. <laughs> that was really scary. I opened the pit. No, run away from the pit. <laughs> That's always a fun moment to have at a concert. <laughs> run away from the pit. <laughs> It wasn't really a runaway from the pit moment. It almost turned into one, but... I was at a concert... years ago. Maybe like 10 years ago. And... my friends... and myself... We are at the absolute back of the crowd. <laughs> this is just, you know, it's a gravel field. <laughs> like, next to a big stadium. So there's the, uh, the two-stage setup. was long enough ago that um, neither members of the band Guar that are dead now were dead then. It was the second time I had seen them. And we are at the back of this massive crowd. And we see a mosh pit forming near the front, but kind of close to the middle. And all of a sudden, we just kept seeing people moving. More and more. Oh, God. Wall jump, please. There it goes, dude. So much for story time. But no, we're at the back of this massive crowd. We're thinking, okay, well, we're just going to sit here and watch this shit, because this is going to be fun to watch. Yep, here it all goes, dude. 
here it all goes. Tell them the rest of the story, goddammit. Long story short, back to this massive crowd. We can't believe the mosh pit keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger until it is literally the size of almost the entire crowd. <laughs> Just like... Hundreds and hundreds of people. <laughs> actively running and thrashing and pushing and punching and kicking and all this shit. Not like each other, it's like punching and kicking into the air because heavy metal, brah. <laughs> Got all that shit out of my system early. And the great thing about Guar, if you've never seen live footage of him, if the camera's just on the stage, <laughs> you'll still get a really good show. But you need to be able to see the crowd, like, after the show. <laughs> like, when you see Guar at a festival show, and they're on in the middle of the day, why am I doing that? Good thing I caught myself before I ran out of super missiles like a fucking idiot. But yeah, killer show. But again, when you see Guar in the middle of a massive festival card, it's really funny because you see everybody come in with just like plain white clothing. And you're just like, why are there all these people wearing just white. And it's so strange. And then Guar comes on. And they've got these cannons. <laughs> these big squirt guns, basically, on either side of the stage. And they squirt liquids. Like this like movie blood. So the first time I saw them, they had red and like neon green liquid that they were just shooting from these cannons into the crowd. Ah, whatever. Hit him with one. I shot right through that fireball, dude. Get some power bombs, don't want to get health. It's such a weird thing to say. No, don't give me that health. <laughs> One power bomb. Well, rip. Health, though.
That guy got shown. <laughs> that guy got shown real hard. <laughs> Rip coughing. Man, I didn't get the fucking bounce. I went up. I went up. I went up. Nope. I went up again. But yeah, I, th I don't think I've ever felt, going back to that concert story I was telling earlier, I don't think I've ever been more, like, nervous at a show about the crowd. Well, about the pit, I'll say. I've had moments when I was more worried about the crowd. Namely because they were just throwing shit. Ever get hit in the head with a chunk of sod? Not a good feel. <laughs> Sitting there trying to enjoy a fucking concert that's been going on all day. These drunk idiots that have been drunk for the past five hours now throwing shit because now they're not as drunk as they once were. Somehow. Because they've continued to drink. You just feel more sick now than drunk. And then, good God almighty, you can even ask Tom Petty about this night. <laughs> but I went to see a Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers concert. I, I don't know. I don't know who was doing rain dances. I don't know who was pissing off. People that decide what happens with the weather <laughs> or whatever natural forces and winds and climates and I don't know what we pissed off that night <laughs> there was an outdoor arena and there was like almost ankle deep water just standing water everywhere <laughs> it had been raining not even for that long. It had been raining that hard. <laughs> Raindrop almost as big as your head. <laughs> it was like lots of very, very small water balloons. <laughs> oh yeah, there it is. Oh yeah. Not to mention the fact that lightning struck the arena. Well, not the arena, but it's, again, it's an outdoor venue, but it's got, like, a covered part that has seats. <clears throat> and... Yeah, lightning struck that place. Twice! 
before they decided, you know what, let's finish up the song we were just playing and let's get the hell out of here and get everybody else the hell out of here too. That's really funny that the crazy... Oh, god damn it, Samus. <laughs> that, like, the craziest story... And some of the craziest stories I have to tell about concerts don't even come from metal shows. Don't even come from heavy metal shows. When my brother and I drove up to Michigan during a shitty winter storm to see Mastodon in some club, and they broke their equipment because they were playing too loud and too hard and too furiously, and we didn't think it was legit, And then the house lights come up and the bouncers come in. It's like, all right, show's over, everybody. And we're like, oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> and here's the funny thing. I bet you the guys from Mastodon would be, you know, they'd be like kind of petrified to hear. It's like, oh, my God, that was like the only time I've been able to see Mastodon live in a club setting and they're one of my favorite bands at the time and still are. But that night when they just broke their shit because they played too loud and too hard and too fast and too much of everything and had their stuff tuned way too low the strings are just rattling around on the damn thing just begging to be broken. guys from Mastodon be like, oh my god, I can't believe that was the only night you've gotten to see us at a club show like that. You know, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, you could be a special guest. I'd be like, no, dude. Because here's the thing. I saw you guys on a night when not even your gear could keep up with you. That's the way I look at it. <laughs> I've seen bands rock too hard for their own equipment. <laughs> Maybe one of these days, when I'm playing a game that has like, like if I'm playing like a casual game, or like if I'm playing um, Trip to Vineland's or something. Actual story time. Struggling to tell a story while I struggle to play better at Super Metroid. I mean... Wow, dude, I've missed two missiles now. Nine's better than nothing. Get off me, you stupid baby shrimp. Low swoop. No good. No, no, no. Swoop. Give me the goop. Goop. Got the goop. Shoot him. Shoot him now. Come on. Oh, hit him off screen. Nice. <laughs> Suck it, Dragon. 
Aha. Get some of that stuff back. Don't really think I need that. That one power bomb. Don't think I need it yet. Probably will. Oh god. <laughs> so yeah. I'm assuming this is something that is common knowledge in Super Metroid, but it's something that I've kind of run into independently of anything. And it was something I mentioned on a stream like a day or two ago. But sometimes when you hit the corner of a block just right, and you're going down, it like adds momentum like it, it like shoots you down even harder <laughs> and I'm not sure if that's because I mean it happened earlier on in this and it happened in this run and it happened in a spot where I haven't had it happen before so now it just makes me think that it's a common occurrence that if you hit the corner of a block at the right time it'll add like extra momentum to your fall and I, again, I'm sure this is common knowledge now that I think about it. Like with tassing and all that. If it's not, what the shit? <laughs> like, I don't think it's something that... I'm going to try to incorporate. It's just something that now I have something else in my knowledge base of this game. My, my tentative knowledge base. always have to preface <laughs> things that I say with I think because I'm not 100% sure. It's just I remember reading it or hearing it. <laughs> oh, nice exit. Like, one of those things where I have to preface it by saying, I think, is that room that I just did. With the shrimps and the sand and all that. Is that, or was that ever, called the waffle jump? Someone in the universe hear my play and thank, thank baby Metroid that I got that jump. And I landed in the hole. Pseudo hole in one. Also, I haven't really been watching IRC to see if there have been forfeits. I'm sure there have been. I'm sure I'd be just as upset as I always am by looking. <laughs> Aha! I can't find the pixel.
I was gonna run Me uh, Mega Man 2, first off, that's the Mega Man I'd run. And if I was going to run it, I would not run it with zips. I'd have to run the no zips category. Again, that I like glitching in games. Like, I could play uh, Shadowgate and have a blast because that game is just... <laughs> that game is barely programmed. And this is a caveman. This is a guy that couldn't get past, like, page five of programming for dummies. <laughs> Dude, I am so stoked that Kirby's Adventure is going to be on the, or is on the NES Classic Mini. Kirby's Adventure is such a good game. Kirby games are such good games, yet they get no respect from, like, game critics. They're like, oh yeah, they're great kids games. Uh, you know what's a great kids game? Call of Duty. Any of them. For fuck's sake. Because those are the games that the kids ask for. The people that actually want to have fun and play decent games are the ones that get stuff like Kirby's Epic Yarn. Whereas little Johnny Snotnose gets his fucking Call of Duty. always been that way too ever since games with guns came out Vacuum someone up with your mouth. It's an interesting way to phrase what Kirby does. You could also say inhales, you know, when he inhales someone, instead of when he vacuums them up with his mouth. Just saying. Thank you for Kago. We go. Mm. Shit. Huh? How'd he grab me? I know how he grabbed me that time. <laughs> Who do we got here? Yo! My boy.
Gotta love that auto host feature. <laughs> Gotta love it. And thank you, Punk, for the auto host. I don't know. I'm not opposed to the idea of a weekly 100% race. But here's the thing. I'm not going to join it because I don't race 100% in this game. Oh, no, no. Get in there. So we got our first place finish. I want to make sure I get it right. Unlike last time. Feral. Feral 5x. Feral 5 times. Feral, 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 feral. Get through that fucking wall, you fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> The thing is, there are certain games that I wouldn't want to play any percent as a speedrun. There are certain games that I would want to play as a 100% speedrun. The one that readily comes to mind is Hydra, Ca uh, Hydra Castle Labyrinth. It's not a game name that you can say <laughs> and not consciously try to say it. If you just let the name of that game fall out of your face, you will never say it properly. <laughs> and Farrell's first place finish time was 47 minutes. Flat. For Metroid Speedrun in 47 minutes. That's called spite, ladies and gentlemen. I hate that fish. It's not healthy to hit hate a video game fish, so just kill the video game fish. It's fine. It's a video game fish. It'll be back the next time you load the room. It's not even like it's one of those things that'll be back the next time you load the game. It'll be back the next time you load the fucking room. Kill him for his drops. Got a couple of those. Samus is just perked up in total opposition to what I want her to do. Oh. 
that and Mega Man 2, like they were just talking about on Best of Mass, is a big enough game where I could just get lost in the crowd like I do with Super Metroid. Hello, Ridley statue. Still not sure what the hell Punk is talking about. We'll try. Is he talking about this? The, the thing that Samus is touching with her arm cannon there? That thing? It's one of her claws, man. His? Her? Whatever. It knows what gender it is. Hmm. Oh. Come on, man. Say that we're all counting on you. Good luck. God damn it, Leslie Nielsen. I know that sound. I know it. I know I know it. But I can't look away. Can't do it. Yeah, suck it, Rinka. I think he dropped a super, but I was not about to go back for it, because I have the fucking Thanksgiving turkeys here. See? They're frozen. You get Thanksgiving turkeys, you get them frozen. And they are stuffed with all sorts of goodies. Come on. I hate that shit. I absolutely hate that shit. If you don't have Spring Ball, it just skips right the fuck past Screw Attack. Oh, get off him. Doop a doo doo. Give a baby Metroid a yellow gumball made of metal and a person. out of there. I mean, I didn't need missiles. I still don't. <laughs> Dying in a Kirby run. Like, unintentionally. Like the old SDA run. For Dynablade from Kirby Superstar. Good job, guy. You died in a Kirby game and submitted it to SDA. I believe in you. I don't believe in a Zebatite skip, apparently. So we're going to try that again. There we go. Come on, just... <laughs> attack back on please come on <coughs> excuse me
That's it, that's it, that's it. Blat, blat, blat. Got screw attack. Torso time. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Katoon, for the auto host. I know it's a little late, but hey, better late than never, right? You are the man. To do a dot time before I do my dot done, so I know where I'm gonna finish. Also, just wanted to point out, I, I'm not sure if this has been pointed out. <laughs> I think this has been, I think this has been seen though. I wonder, does Katoon play any games that actually have a duck in them? Or duck-based games. Because I play two. I play DuckTales and Duck Game. I just now thought about that. <laughs> Like, Dark Souls doesn't have a duck. Duck Souls. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I'm just pointing something out that I literally just thought of. And it's funny to me. So I'm mentioning it live on the internet. Uh, no, come on, you bitch. Does D DKC2 doesn't have a duck? Get in the fucking boat! Bullshit. Bullshit. I've got to retime that run right fucking now. <laughs> Kidding me. Forty-two. Yo, that's a forty-two. Get the fuck out of here. That was a forty-two.
I wanna... I wanna retime that. Well, okay. So race bot says one hour and eleven seconds. Which is another PB. I went from 1 hour and 30 seconds to 1 hour and 11 seconds. There's so much shit in that run though. 